As a cop, I lost my callers to legal loopholes, but I believed in the system. As a DA, I lost my cases to crooked lawyers, but I believed in the system. As a judge, my hands were bound by the letter of the law, but I believed in the system. Until it took my life away. And then I stopped believing in the system and started believing in justice. police already offered me protection. I told him I didn't need it. Come on, what's the matter? Why not? Because I'm not going to let Mitchell keep me out of my own court. Listen, I'm probably going to pick him up before he crosses the state. I don't know, Nick. You be careful. Okay, Jim. All right, bye-bye. What? In case you forgot, Nick, Mitchell was hot and heavy to come after you five years ago after you locked him up. That was five years ago. What happens to a man after five years in jail? That's right. It's five times as nasty, five times as strong, and five times as determined to come after your butt. What kind of man is this Mitchell? Oh, he's the worst. He's an absolute creep. Doesn't care anything about himself, so why the hell should he care about anybody else? And ring a bell, Nick? I care. Listen, I appreciate everybody's concern. Then stay home until they catch up with this guy. Why push it? Because he has to. He's just waiting for somebody to push back. Well, you may have finally met your match in Mitchell, my friend. Maybe I should be your personal bodyguard today. You know, just hang around, watch your back. <laughs> I'm okay, Gibbs. I'm fine, thanks. All right. Isn't that what Custis said? You too. Just want to be sure. Of what? Your desire to stay alive. Fighting for a belief is worth one's life. Fighting to flirt with death is suicide. says it'll be coming out in two minutes. Huh? Stay alert. All right. Alternate exits checked. It's clear here. for the attack. Thank you. Do you have an escort home? Is that an offer? This isn't funny. Mitchell could be <laughs> waiting for you anywhere. Come on, Tara. We've been worrying about Mitchell all day. It's all been for nothing. You're going to be hearing about his capture on the evening news, I'm sure. Well, the press has arrived. Oh. I think I'd rather face Mitchell.
Sure. Any comment on this? Are, are you taking any action? What are the police planning to do? I have no comment to make at this point, except that for me, it's business as usual. Thank you very much. Your Honor! Can we just... Stay back, people. Can we turn around this way? Your Honor, sir! Come to order. The People versus Nicholas Marshall. The charges are hypocrisy, self pity, and betrayal. The penalty is death. Prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution. There's nobody here. The defendant is out of order. He's probably also out of his mind, but that's a case for another court. I believe we have everyone we need. Maria? Now, is that any way to come to court? Hey, come on, will you? I was eating. Who needs his aggravation? Even in dreams, he complains. The defendant will be silent. The prosecution will speak. The court will recline. We will prove, Your Honor, that the defendant had betrayed his principles and made a mockery out of the law. The state calls Ken Horton. You know about Nick Marshall? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about Nick Marshall. He's made my life a living hell. I haven't won a case in five years. He's made me feel like a total, a, a, a total incompetent putz geek. Excuse me, Mr. Horton. Is there something you'd like to share with the rest of the court? Your Honor, I seem to be missing my key witnesses. I have no choice but to dismiss all charges against Daniel Sicani. Case dismissed. It isn't always fair. I've seen my share of scum slip through the system. But in this courtroom, I will obey the rules of the system. Therefore, on the grounds of illicitly secured evidence, I have no choice but to dismiss this case. Any further actions by this court would impinge upon the defendant's right to a fair trial. Case is dismissed. All rise. There's a price for justice. It is seldom cheap, and we are not always ready to pay it. This court has no choice but to rule that the people's
case against Harlan McGrath must be dismissed due to lack of evidence. Waited for the heat to die down, then he off to Clark. We didn't have enough evidence back then. We do now. Signed affidavit. Yeah, from a non-existent person. The rest is purely circumstantial. Your Honor, please, don't do this. Case dismissed. It was my understanding your case was solid. You can't produce the witness. No. You better have your act together the next time you step into my courtroom. Do you understand that, Mr. Hoyt? Case dismissed. Ken, it's nothing personal. Case dismissed! Case dismissed! Over and over and over like a bleeding parrot. Case dismissed! Case dismissed! I can hear it in my sleep. I can hear it when I lost my dog. And how about that lie? Mr. Rush. Justice may be blind, but it can see in the dark. Thank you, Your Honor. Don't thank me, Mrs. Hollister. Justice may be blind, but it can see in the dark. I must have justice for my family. Justice may be blind, but she can see in the dark. Hey, Smiley. Justice may be blind, but it can see in the dark. Haven't we met somewhere before? I know you. You're free to go, Mr. Pope. Go. And take care. Justice may be blind, but it can see in the dark. I tell you, big brother, justice is blinder than a bat. Yes, but it can't see in the dark. Ah, what the hell does that mean? Justice is blind. If it's blind, how can it see in the dark? <laughs> Justice is blind, but it can see in the dark. Justice is deaf, but it can hear in the bark. Justice is just a little bit crippled, but it gets around on crutches. <laughs> See what you did to a perfectly good DA. Scandalous. I took care of all those cases. In the street. Savage. I can live with it. Oh, no. No, no, you can't, my friend. You see, I'm afraid if we can't resolve your little crisis of conscience, you won't be making it out of this room alive. prosecution may call its next witness, but do it quickly. We don't want the defendant to wake up, although I'm betting on death or a coma. Thanks a lot. The state calls Mrs. Gibson. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, honey. I'm going to tell the world about how you ruined my little boy. Look at him. He's the cutest little thing. Chin, goodwill. Oh, that's a good looking kid. Never hurting nobody. An angel. Oh, you better believe he was an angel, honey. For he got his hands on him. Just make me mad thinking about it. Who do you think he is? Half big Rambo in a black leather jacket? Mrs. Gibson, why didn't you tell us what's happened to your son since he's been in the judge's employ? I hope you ain't got nowhere to go, honey. Because I'm ready, willing, and able to tell my tale. I knew it was going to be trouble. I knew it was going to be trouble from the first day they met. Mr. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I could have been here sooner, but the cops in town at my car. Tried to catch a cab, but do you know how hard it is for a black man to catch a cab in this town? 
Uh, listen, you have a kid coming down there by the name of uh, Jericho Gibson. Yeah, right, 48 hours. I want you to make him the worst two days of his life. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, listen. Introduce him to Daisy. <laughs> Bagel with a schmear. A schmear of what? Oh, what yeah. do you want? Hey, this putz doesn't know what a baker's dozen is. Wait, you come this way. I'll show you what is a schmear. What are schmear. you talking about? A schmear of what? I told myself I wasn't going to cry. He made my boy play funny people, too. Just last week, last uh, week, wow. I'm gonna rip this guy's head off and spit down his neck. Get down here! Mr. Sweeney, I presume. You know, Sweeney, old boy, you cannot be going around disrespecting city health and me and not expecting the problems. Now, I've been working there for three years and I've yet to see those little green benefits that keep us happy and your little cute butt open. Louis, me pigie, if stupid, though. The name's not Sweeney, punk. It's Rice <gasps> Yeah. It's an S. I. C. I I'm so sorry, Mrs. Cotter. I am. Please forgive me. I don't be cross with me. I, I don't know what I was doing. I'm out of here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm like duty go do. Oh, I'm sorry Mr. Pope hasn't gotten here yet. My name is Bell. Elliot Bell, tax board. Thank you very much. You can do that. Ma'am, I can do whatever I want. I'm with state. Now. Where do you keep the box? Yeah, we're on it! further questions uh no 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 uh, we have put this poor woman through quite enough thank you seems to me you've been moving in on other people's lives they have their reasons but you do feel responsible don't you? Your Honor, the defendant has betrayed himself, lied to himself, and put the lives of others in danger. The score must be settled. It will be.
court will now hear the case for the defense. No problem. Gibson for the defense. Yeah. Don't worry about a thing, pal. All right, that's it. I'll take my chances on the operating table. Thank you very much. I wouldn't do that. I know who I am. Nikki, have you forgotten that Mitchell was after you five years ago after you put him away? In my way, my time is Time for you to go back. Not fighting. I'm gonna have to go in. Is this really necessary? Not really, but it's fun. Gotcha. I don't want to play this anymore. I heard you are a hanging judge, only in this case. We will now hear from the defense. It's about time. <clears throat> Your Honor, my defense is very simple. But first, to understand my client, you need to see some of the scum that we've had to deal with. Roll tape. This isn't a gun. <clears throat> this is a gun. What's the story with the garbage? What's the holdup? Come on, I want to go home. Oh my God! Slow down. I can't breathe. Oh. I can't. No. Call a doctor. Please. Don't wait. No, I can't stop it, baby. <laughs> I want you. Why well, can be like that? That's why you have partners. Friends. you to make another deal. It was a great deal, Thomas. Huh? Oh, they said they could double our margin. Right. You tell him we get the stuff down in the docks and he can inspect it. Uh, you tell him anything else and you're dead. Sorry, the act didn't work. Take a human life like it was business. 
the sake of a lousy buck. Every life is sacred. You don't have the right to take one. Nobody does. Does it really take the pain away? I don't know what you're talking about. Catching your family's killers over and over and over again. Does it take the pain away? Don't you know? No, I'm afraid not. You see, I think you've already tried and convicted yourself, haven't you? Come on, come on! You've got to help us! sentence on me. Hey, I'm not your judge. No, but you are my prosecutor. Whoever you want me to be, in here we're all a part of you, however you see us. A little more concerned how I see myself. Yeah, that seems to be the big question today, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a question of my life. At least my life is now. It used to be a lot clearer before. Mickey, it can still be clear. I mean, you only have one life. Things change, but basically you only have one life. Now, the big question is not whether you're innocent or guilty. It's whether you want to save your life. I don't know. I just want this thing over with, Moon. Or doctor or whoever you are. This little recess over with yet? I was really hoping I wouldn't have to go back into that courtroom. I can't miss my own defense. Suit yourself, pal. Round five. Hang in there, man. No socializing with the defendant. Counsel has yet to provide concrete evidence of the defendant's innocence. What? Don't cut. All right, that's it. I'm bringing out the heavy guns now. This man has put himself at great personal risk many, many times. That's got to count for something. Not if you're looking to die. Tell me, man. Tell me that you're not looking to die. to present the next wave of evidence. <laughs> I thought you were against me. Only if you lose. Your Honor, I intend to show the court that Nick Marshall is a selfless man. Fighting for a cause. I'm sure he is, but go ahead anyhow.
Don't shoot this, Mr. Rush. Braved unusual danger. of justice even when things get personal
Because as Marshall, you know, you're a clown. You're a clown and you don't even know it. You're my clown. Who do you think did your wife and kid? What? What? What are you talking about? I did it as a favor. You weren't behaving and they needed somebody to make the hit. So I volunteered. Danny got the pleasure here. Of course, it was you we were after, but, but you wasn't getting it just fine for my purposes. I made all kinds of bones. Only Thomas Ciccone is mad enough to blow away a judge's family. Come on, Thomas, I burn her, you do him. You heard your brother. Now, the court has established that things being personal is not good enough. Very well, Your Honor. Tell the court, Nick Marshall, in your own words. Why do you do it? I thought so. Okay, enough of the heavy stuff. Let me tell you about the man's style. Oh, Gibbs, not the disguises, please. Yeah, the disguises. They're cute disguises. Ciao, you try a piece of pasta? This is a private meeting, my friend. Oh, excuse, excuse. They, they tell me to serve everybody. You forget that. You forget that I was a here. Huh? I'm gonna leave with the thread down here. You don't like an ancho, poof. You don't need an ancho, yeah? Ciao. Philip, you should be out there with me. Oh, not with my ticker, kid. I almost had a heart attack watching you. All right, Glenn Thornhill, I'd shake your hand, but then we both have to take a shower. Belinda Klein. Frankly, I wouldn't mind. Hey. Who are you supposed to be? I'm your partner, you idiot. What's your point? The point is, Mr. Pope. See, I've got my source back. I got 30 keys I want to unload now. You set it up for me. I'll call it even. Or, I can kill you. Yo! You got a problem here, Louise? This guy asking for something weird? Of course not. young lady is in need of counseling. Hey, I am the only religion she needs. Sam, he don't mean nothing. Yeah. You go back to your pulpit preacher. You understand what I'm saying to you? I gotta admit, Judge, you make a pretty good pimp. Nice outfits, especially the polo player. They all look the same to me. You seem to like playing roles. Do you ever play yourself? I'm always myself. Which self? Are you you? Or are you me? You better hurry up and decide, because if we're not together, we're gone. Hemorrhaging. Does the defense rest? The defense rests, Your Honor. But we contend that Nick Marshall is a man who had a choice to make, and he made the right choice. There's no death wish involved here. This man wants to live because he matters, because he serves a purpose because he's so darn cute.
just you and me. It's always been you and me. Remember when we were together? One person. That was a long time ago. It was simpler. You live in the past too much, Marshal. That's your problem. I'm so damn tired of hearing about my problems. Who cares why I do it? I get the job done, don't I? It doesn't matter so much when it's your life in question. And it's certainly not a good enough excuse to break the law. The rules. Rules? The rules don't work anymore. They did once, but not anymore. Not since they've been twisted and turned so much it takes five years to get a conviction. What do you want me to do? Just sit around and watch them decay? Crumble? Good excuse. But I know you a little better than that. You don't know anything. The system needs change. I'm changing it. I found a way to change it, at least my small part of it. I get the job done, don't I? But do you do it for the people? For the city? Or do you do it for yourself? For them? Because if you really want to join them, it's very easy to arrange. do if I started bending the system? How many lives could I have saved? Could I have saved yours? I used to think so. Lost a lot of sleep over that. Well, things haven't changed. I'm still losing sleep, Sandy. But now I'm doing something about it. them in the beginning yeah but not anymore why you know why because justice is justice no matter what we i am a judge on the street or in here i am a judge this is no vendetta this is no death wish that's all I wanted to hear. Case dismissed. Court adjourned. Remember, justice may be blind. I got it. I got it. I'm gone. Finally, he's finding. The son of a bitch is coming back. We're almost home. Start to let me know when you're ready to close. All right. Does it hurt? Only when I laugh. And eat, and sleep, breathe. Oh, maybe next time you'll listen to us. There won't be a next time. Well, I'm afraid there will. Mitchell's escaped again. I don't believe it. Well, there's a certain kind of poetic justice to it all. What happened? They bribed the arresting officers. <laughs> well, why are we sitting here? Where is this guy? We gotta get you out of here. Relax, that's why I called you all here. We gotta take care of it personally. You're giving him a second shot at you? Oh, don't worry. My flirting days are over. <laughs> you sound pretty sure of yourself. What happened to you in the hospital? Well, let's just say I cleared a very old case off my books. Oh, yeah? What was the verdict? Case dismissed. 